My name is Paul Larson and I am the Planetarium Director for the Rochester Public Schools. I work at the Mayo High School Planetarium in the Mayo High School. The Planetarium is a place where people can come and sit into, in a large domed room and we're able to project the stars onto the ceiling, we're able to project planets, galaxies, the entire observable universe now in the Mayo High School Planetarium uh, so people can travel around the solar system here. So the Mayo High School Planetarium was built when the school was built back in 1966. So it is one of three school-based planetariums in the state of Minnesota. And this particular planetarium is the oldest continually run planetarium in the entire state of Minnesota. So it's been operating continuously since 1966. I really feel that having a planetarium is very important for students because being that gateway science, it allows students to become interested in other topics. So being able to study the planets of our solar system, the objects that are in our solar system, allows those students to be able to apply that back here on Earth so we understand the processes that happen on Earth. But then it also allows us to think of new technologies. So the technology that we'll need to live and work on Mars, that technology can then be applied right back here on Earth again. So I think it's very important to have this uh, the capability of taking classroom lessons that students learn on a flat board and then being able to come into the planetarium, seeing all of that math and science presented to them in real time, um, in real scale, so they can see the scale of all of it put together. And then it's, you know, it's just very, very cool to have students come out of here with their minds blown about everything that they've been able to see in the planetarium. <laughs> We can now network with planetariums all over the world. So six times now here at Rochester in the Mayo High School Planetarium, we've done lectures where we come in here, we listen to a scientist in Chicago give a lecture, and the technicians in Chicago actually control our planetarium, along with 20 other planetariums around the world. So now we're able to listen to those lectures without having to drive all the way to Chicago. So those have been very popular over the last year and a half here. We do lessons for the kindergarten all the way through high school. And then we also do lessons for the community. Um, I do community education lectures where adults can come in and learn different topics. I also do lectures for preschool um, and grade school kids that can come in after hours. I think the people that are going to change the world are our children. And the way our children are going to change the world is through science and innovation. So if I can just turn on a couple students a year to the idea of science and technology, I think I'll have done a successful career. Um, and the one turning point was during a presentation at St. Cloud State, a four-year-old little girl at the end of the presentation, she asked me, she said, how are baby stars born? And I realized that this is what I wanted to do, was be able to teach young kids about the stars in space in order to um, hopefully turn on a couple students to that science and technology because they're the ones that are going to be changing the world. So that's the motivation behind doing it.